All right, I'm going live here on Facebook. Now let me get live on Instagram. All right. Let me go to Instagram to go live. Live, okay. Cool. Let's get it together. Good morning, good morning. So let's get this. Let me type in good morning on Instagram and then I'll do it on Facebook. Good morning. All right, got my good morning out there on Instagram. Good morning, Stephanie. Now let me get my good morning here on Facebook. Can't spell this morning, but I'm here. Oh, this is really bad. That's all right. Good morning, ladies. I have the two Stephanies on. I have Cheryl on over here on Instagram. I have Stephanie Nichols and Stephanie Davis on Facebook with me this morning. Good ladies. Good morning. How are you? Missed you last week. How are you doing today? Let me give a wave over here. So excited to be here, to be back. Again, I missed you. I have Miss Laura. Miss Chambers joined on um, Instagram. I'm a little stuffy this morning too, so you got to bear with me. And I'm a little bit excited. Um, wasn't here last week. I got Angela on um, Facebook. So, yeah, I was down in Florida. It was 86 degrees last Sunday in Florida, and I woke up this morning. I think it's 46 degrees here. Good morning, Uvon. Good morning, Paula. Good to see you, ladies. Thank you so much for getting up and joining me. Um, Lady Bella, which I believe is my cousin, just joined me on Instagram. It's amazing though, again, like I said, this time last Florida, I was on the boardwalk on the beach. 86 degrees, I went, attended this woman's retreat. I'm gonna reach out to some of you individually to share it with you because I think it's something that you would enjoy because I definitely plan to go back next year. But I woke up this morning and it was 46 degrees. I said, what a difference a week make in locations. So yes, how's everybody doing? Janice is on, Carolyn is on. Ladies, it's so good to see you. You know, I appreciate uh, you getting up and joining me. And I was thinking about you this morning and just thinking about this platform overall. I still can't believe it. Uh, five years I have been doing this, but for the grace of God. I can honestly say that I've been doing this for five years, coming on, especially on Facebook, because I just started to come on Instagram recently. But, um, and the You Have the Power group on Facebook, I have been doing this for five years. And so many of you have been getting up and joining me for five years. So love and blessings, I so appreciate you. And I'm committed, as long as you show up, I will show up. So thank you, thank you, and thank you. Judy joined us on uh, Facebook. So ladies, as you come on, give me a wave, say good morning so that I can call out your name. You know this is the best part of you have the power message is that I get a chance to call out your name and this is my way of, of kind of interacting, you know, um, so that I don't feel like I'm just being sitting here slow, solo. Stephanie says, um, I'm awesomely blessed sitting in my new kitchen, drinking my favorite fall winter pumpkin spice coffee. Stephanie, thank you for sharing that. And you said your new kitchen. So that means you, you wait a minute, let, let me get, let me check my memory here. You were closing on a house, am I correct? You have to let me know. Um, I think I saw that a couple of weeks ago, right? Either you closed on your home or you had your kitchen renovated. Yes, she closed. Okay, I remember now. Well, congratulations. Yay! What a great way to end the year and to start the new year in your new home. God bless you. So, and you are enjoying that coffee. Anybody else have any news to share? Anything going on exciting? Are you starting to position yourself for the holidays? Ending the year strong so you can start the year off even stronger. Anybody? 
anything. Okay. Well, again, thank you so much for getting up and joining me. I am going to go ahead and get started so that I, I don't keep you too long. And I'm still struggling a little bit, just so you know. Um, I come on live in Facebook and Instagram. And, you know, so I'm vacillating back and forth whether or not I'm going to continue to come on live on Instagram or just on Facebook. So if you have an opinion one way or the other, let me know so that I can consider it because I'm still thinking about just doing the Facebook. But I'm open. But on the other hand, my commitment has been as long as one person shows up, I'll continue to do it. So as long as I have people coming in on Instagram, um, you know, that's my thought also that I should continue to use both platforms. But at any rate, if you have any thoughts, I'm open. Let me know. Thank you for joining me. Good morning. So I've been thinking a lot about identity. And that's what I'm going to spend just a few minutes today talking about identity. And I'm going to start off just reading just one paragraph from Jess Lee. I'm not going to read the entire message. If you have the book, you can join me. It's on page 66. And if not, when I post this video, you can order the book. Not only Just Leap, but you can order Inspirations for the Soul as well. They make great gifts, and there are some powerful messages in, in both books. And I was sitting this morning and reading from both books, reading some of the messages. But this one this morning, I'm going to read from page 66 in Just Leap. M.M., good morning, good to see you. And again, I'm only going to read the first paragraph. And the message is entitled, The First Step. You get to decide who you want to be. You get to define who you are, so be the person you want to be. This is your decision, not your family, friends, or coworkers. They don't get to define you, not today. You must be clear that the person you are being is not for your family or friends. However, if this is the case, then you must decide what needs to happen in the future. So you can continue to read the message on your own. Again, page 66, Just Leap. And today, I want to talk about identity. Identity is who you are, the way you think about yourself, the way you are viewed by the world and the characteristics that define you. Identity encompass the memories, experiences, relationships, and values that create one's sense of self. This combination creates a steady sense of who one is over time, even as new facets are developed and incorporated into one's identity. And your identity is the most important force in your life. Your identity controls your power. So think about this. When was the last time you thought about identity? It kind of came to my spirit a week or so ago, and I've been thinking about it. So I wanted to just talk about it for a few minutes this morning. Your identity controls your power. And people have enormous capabilities beyond what's thought to be possible. And I've talked about that before. Most of us don't even tap into half of what we're capable of achieving. The power to tap into our tremendous potential comes from our, our identity, how we define ourselves, and what we believe what we can achieve. And that's so important, what we believe we can achieve. And amongst, among our most important beliefs are those we hold about who we are. And we all have a deep and abiding need to remain consistent with how we define ourselves. And there is no more powerful force than identity, because our identity determines our actions. And we act according to our beliefs 
of who we are. Whether these views of ourselves are accurate or not, we act according to our beliefs of who we truly are. So trying to live in a way that's inconsistent with our true nature will create frustration, could create stress and disappointment because you're trying to be something that you're not. Or you're at that point where you're not comfortable, but you don't know how to go forward. So we must learn to embrace our deepest needs, strengths, fears, desires, values, and beliefs in order to create harmony and tap into our most tremendous potential. So as you go throughout today and the week, I want you to think about identity, how you define yourself, and what are your true beliefs? Because remember, that determines what we believe we can achieve. And there's this misconception also that behavior decides who we truly are. And that's not necessarily true because there are times we behave in a way because of frustration, anxiety. You know, sometimes we'll say something out of frustration and anxiety. But it doesn't define who we are. Because sometimes we'll say things we don't mean. And I know you've said things you don't mean, right? And the minute you said it, you wish you hadn't said it. Because maybe it was hurtful, maybe it was spiteful. And we've all done that. And it doesn't mean that this behavior is part of our identity. And maybe we just had a temporary whatever, lack of judgment. Or we just, for that moment, we were wooed by our emotion. And maybe at that moment we needed to behave in that particular way to satisfy that need, whatever we were feeling. But that doesn't necessarily mean that that behavior is part of your identity. But here's the thing, when you do that, you have to take responsibility to restore your identity. So when you say something hurtful, mean, vengeful, and you know that's not who you are, then you have to take responsibility. So when you create situations that's going against who you truly are, you have to take responsibility and then take action to repair any harm that we may have caused to someone else. And we have the power to change our identity. I think that's so important. Once you take a look at who you are, and if you're not comfortable or their characteristics or beliefs or behavior that you've been holding on to that no longer represents who you are, you have the power to change your identity. Because our identity are in constant state of evolution. Because remember, life is the process of evolution, so we continue to grow and evolve. And what's so important, what people tell you about you don't create your identity. And sometimes we get hung up on that. We give our power away. What other people say about us, we start to embrace that as who we are. You know, people can tell you something, especially negative stuff. You're no good. You're never going to be anything. And sometimes you start to believe that. You start to question it. So what people tell you don't create your identity. And you can change your identity by changing your beliefs of who you think you are. So right now, if you don't feel good or comfortable about your identity, change your beliefs. Because we all contain the power to reinvent ourselves and create a new empowered identity that expands what is possible in our lives. And sometimes we don't expand because of the beliefs we have about ourselves. If you believe you can, you can. If you believe you can't, you can't. 
And the key is everything, you know, I talk about awareness a lot. And that's the key to be, to take, con to take conscious control of the beliefs that you are creating, creating about yourself. So if you want to move forward and you have these limited beliefs, change your belief. And then you can propel and move forward. And any transformation you make within yourself will depend on your ability to expand this identity, which is your set of beliefs. Think about it. And by creating a new empowering set of beliefs, you can create a lasting transformation within yourself and in your life. So sometimes it's worth it to stop, be still, and think about who am I? Who am I being? Is this aligned with what my desires are? And if not, begin by, number one, just being conscious of it. Number two, change your beliefs. So think about it right now. Do you need a new identity? When was the last time you thought about your identity? And that's the whole purpose of, of the You Have a Power Talks on Sunday mornings. It got you thinking about your life. Are you where you want to be? And then if not, change it. Remember, change your thought changes your life. Change your belief changes your life. So, how many of you just give me a thumbs up or down or a wave. When was the last time you thought about your identity? Anybody? And are you being truly who you want to be? Do you need a new identity? Do you need to think about your beliefs? I'll type in if nobody else. I do. I do. I need to, to examine my beliefs. Right? I do. Anybody else? I'm just curious. Am I the only one? Are you awake with me this morning? Let me know I'm not out here by myself. So are you at a point where you're not comfortable, but you believe this is who you are, so you just go along every day? You're not comfortable. Thank you. Stephanie and MM, I appreciate you responding. So are you at that point where you're operating at 60% and you know you should be at 90? I was just at this moment, I was on the highway driving one day and my friend was in the car with me. And I was, it was comfortable for me I was probably driving below 60 and uh, all the cars was just flying by me and I went to get off at this exit and when I got off at the exit I started, I realized I was driving even slower, but that was comfortable for me and he looked at me and he said, babe, you need to, you need to speed it up a little bit and I needed to speed it up just to get out of the way of the other cars so I wouldn't cause an accident. So I just had that moment. Sometimes we're operating at a level, right, which is not even safe for us. And that was what's happened to me with me that day. I felt comfortable, not really. I was uncomfortable to tell you the truth. That's why I was driving like that. I was uncomfortable. So I needed to speed it up. So are you at a point right now where you're not comfortable and you're operating at a level that you need to make some changes. So if you're operating at 60, you know you should be at 90, but 60 has been your comfort zone, so that's where you've been staying, but you are not, but you know that's not your true identity because you know you're not being true to yourself because you haven't embraced your strength, your fears, all of that. Thank you, Angela. MM said, uh, a work in motion. The word is confirmation for me. Angela said, I do also. Carolyn, I need to examine my beliefs. Yes. 
Is it time to expand your identity? And here's the thing, beliefs can create and beliefs can destroy. You know that, right? Certain beliefs will create the life you want and certain beliefs will destroy the life you want, especially some of these old beliefs that we grew up with. So we need to re-examine them because they become part of our identity and some of these beliefs are holding us back. And here's the thing, as you look at your beliefs, especially if you want to change your identity, what we do sometimes, we start questioning ourselves to the point we create so much doubt, right? We just talk ourselves right out of it. So think about that. As you think about your identity, you examine your beliefs and question your beliefs especially if you're at a point where you're uncomfortable where you are and you know you need to expand or change your beliefs. But don't get to the point where you question the changes or the beliefs you want to make that you question yourself right out of it so you get back in that vicious circle and you remain status quo, being uncomfortable. It's okay to question your beliefs, but think about it questioning to the point where you create doubt because what you're doing in essence is creating a situation where which allows you to stay right where you are in that space and place that you've embraced but you're uncomfortable good morning Pam Judy says I'm a working progress so you can shift your identity and keep in mind, your identity can be a prison or it can be heaven. You can expand it or change it. And it's the same thing. We react to people based on the identity we've developed about them. Our relationships are controlled by identity. The beliefs we have of others control our relationships. So think about identity. You can change your identity by changing your beliefs. Do you need a new identity? And I've been thinking about this because I'm checking myself, some beliefs I have. And here's my plan. My plans are to end new in this year on a high. So I'm examining everything about my life so I can start the new year on a high. So I'm checking identity, my own identity right now, stirring up some things, you know, checking my beliefs. And you know me, yes. So the ones I know I need to get rid of, I'm changing them to just the opposite or I'm changing them so that I can propel forward, but in a way that's energized. So think about it as we start thinking about the end of the year, do you need a new identity? And remember, you can expand it you can change it or you can leave it where you may look in the mirror and say, I'm okay. You may not be comfortable where you are, but you may be okay with where you are. But you can change your identity by changing your beliefs. It's like anything else. Change your story, change your life. And you can change your identity too. You can expand it by doing something that's uncomfortable. Step out of your comfort zone. What is something that you've been wanting to do, but maybe you've been afraid to do it? You can do something physical, you know? Think about something you've been wanting to do, but you've been afraid to do it. And every time you think about it, you talk yourself out of it. So you can change or expand your identity immediately 
by doing something uncomfortable, especially something that you know you need to do, you really want to do, but you've been making excuses. Think about it. Because once you do something you thought was impossible, you expand your identity. So get yourself to do something you wouldn't normally do. I did that. Remember, I took cold showers for a week. And as a result, I'm more conscious of my thinking in the morning. So do something you wouldn't normally do. And because once you do something that you wouldn't normally do or that you thought was impossible, you expand your identity, your brain gets it, and then you say, that's who I am. So own your identity. Think about it. Do you need to change it? And now it's a great time to start thinking about where you are. Is this where you want to be? Are you being the person you want to be? And if not, is this the person you want to take until 2023? Think about it. And are you being all that you're capable of being? And I can answer that one for me, no, because of my beliefs. But I'm a work in progress too, Judy, you and I both. And I'm working through removing some of the limiting beliefs. Because in my mind, I'm thinking I have unlimited potential. But I'm acting, right? Or I'm living in the space and place where I place limitations on myself. So I have inner conflict. I've talked about inner conflict before because I believe what I'm doing today is my purpose. And you know, I'm a Christian, so I believe the sky is the limit. There's limit, limitless possibilities. But my actions and my thoughts sometimes, they are limits. So in my mind, I'm here, or I'm believing I can be here, but am I truly believing it if, if I'm putting these limitations on myself? So 2023, I'm, I plan to be all in and all out. Own it regardless of what others may think or feel. It's not about them. And then you're right. You get to decide, not your friends, not your relatives. You get to decide, not your coworkers. You get to decide your identity. And most of us function, you know, because life happens, we're living. And most of us are just going through life status quo, just doing, we're being reactive versus proactive. And sitting down and thinking about your identity, are you being the person you want to be? I mean, really taking a look at where you are and, ex and embracing those areas where you are fearful and embracing those will allow you to really think about making the changes. Put you in the position to be proactive because most of us are reactive. So the first step is to think about your identity. Who are you being? What are your beliefs about yourself? What are those limiting beliefs that, that you're living by that you're not even conscious of because it's been a part of you all of your life, but it's not serving you at this point in your life? Something to think about. That is, you have the power this morning. Glad you joined me because that's been on my mind, identity. You know, like I said, because everything I talk about or share with you, it's happening to me. And that's how I can share because I'm growing, I'm learning, I'm researching. Taking training, you know, taking classes. And I'm grateful that you're on this journey with me. I get to, ch to share it with you. I get to live my life out loud in front of you. You say that early in the morning, okay? I get to live my life out loud in front of you. I had to say it again. So that's you have the power. 
couple of things really quickly before I let you go. I'm going to be, oh, first of all, anniversary, five years. I said it at the beginning, anniversary is coming up. November the 12th, I've been doing this for five years. Please continue to pray for me. Keep you in your prayers because I tell you, but for the grace of God, that I can get up on um, Sunday mornings and do you have the power? And for those of you who've been with me for five years, you've seen the growth. So I'm growing, expanding right here in front of you, with you. So thank you for hanging out with me. 12 years, I still have to figure out something I, I need to do to just celebrate being here for five years. If you're in the Chicago area, November 19th, I'm gonna be at the West Loop Library. Come hang out with me for about an hour. I'll have some books. I'll sign them for you um, and probably talk about some of the, at least a couple of the messages in the book. And uh, they make great gifts. So if you started thinking about your shopping, um, come out and, uh, and I'll have t-shirts there, I think, too. And I do have some You Have the Power t-shirts. I have to put them online. I've been busy, so I haven't had a chance to put them online yet. And then the other thing, too, if you're getting women together, please invite me out. I'd love to come out and just have straight up conversation about authenticity. You know, how do you move forward in life? Or if you just want to get some women together, um, what they call it is a salon where you get some women together, invite me out. I'll bring some books and you could do that as a way of getting women together over the holidays, or you could do that to gift it, you know, to women. Instead of going out and buying them um, gifts, you can invite me in, and part of it will be focusing on 2023, uh, living your best life, because we all have the power to be and have and do whatever it is that we want. So that's it. I thank you so much for getting up and joining me. I truly appreciate you. When I post this video on you have the in the you have the power group, you can go in if you need to order books. The link is there on um, Instagram. If you go into my bio link, there's a link there. And if you plan on coming out on the 19th to the West Loop Library, they're asking you to register. So thank you. I missed you, ladies, last week. I hope this was helpful. Spend a little bit of time thinking about your identity. Are you being the person that you want to be? Are you in that space that um, you think is comfortable, but you're uncomfortable? Think about it. Change your beliefs, change your life. Changes your life. Love and blessings to you. I appreciate you. Have a great week. I will see you back here next Sunday. Thank you.